here we are inside one of the um, beast flow throughs um, what I'm showing you here is the um, bedding mix I use 50% grass 50% shredded cardboard um, just as a matter of interest this is the grass that um, uh, I most recently mowed at home it would only be um, one and a half to two weeks old um, it's already gone like the, the stuff I showed you previously that's older um, in that it, it feels and looks like um, damp horse manure um, and uh, it's got no heat left in it uh, I've got a, about um, uh, 10 gallons of it in a, in a bin and it's not gone hot at all um, so uh, for my uses that's ready to use straight away with um, like I say shredded, shredded uh, the fluted cardboard um, as you all might know, that the, they reckon that the cardboard's held together with um, corn starch glue, so basically corn, um, and the worms just really love the, the, the starchy foods like that. Um, so I'm showing you here the um, what they do with the. I put this 50/50 um, bedding mix into this farm maybe four days ago. Um, within the first day, they did get into it. Um, How much you guys can see there you should be able to see there's a worm just straight away here where I, where I opened it up um, you can see there there's there's all worms worms right through it um, you can see the um, uh, the cardboard has, has started to rot down already um, I usually make the mix up in a, in a wheelbarrow or in a, in a uh, large bin um, and leave it sit for a day or two to um, pre-soak the cardboard a little bit because otherwise it, it does turn out a little bit dry and that also helps to um, rehydrate the, the dried grass clippings um, but this is a, a pile you know maybe maybe six eight inches deep and there's only a tiny little bit of warmth I can feel right underneath there which, which would be the same all the way through the farm because a farm is a, basically a compost heap and, and everything composts down and gets a bit uh, warm so you'll find pockets of I don't, I don't, I'm not overly obsessed with trying to mix it up so you'll find pockets of grass and pockets of um, of, uh, of the um, cardboard but um, the worms do seem to love it um, these ones should be by rights um, mainly red worms but there will be um, uh, African night crawlers mixed into it too because you, you can't keep any any farm absolutely pure um, if you've got uh, multiple species um, so that's what they do with the with that stuff um, and then also I've got a um, uh, the temperature probe and, and moisture meter here I, I fed this section um, about two days ago um, you can see on the I don't know if you can see on that, probably can't see the markings, um, but it's reading um, uh, 35 Celsius, which is uh, 95 Fahrenheit, and that's because the probe tip was um, in the, uh, <coughs> pardon me, in the um, food scraps that I've been putting, uh, that I've put there in a large pile, um, like in this 10 square foot um, farm, I'm feeding about, uh, you know, say about an 8 inch strip, half the width of the farm. Um, so, so by about uh, a foot and a half by, by eight or ten inches wide, um, and and you know about sort of um, uh, two three inches four inches thick sort of thing, with um, shredded newspaper underneath to absorb the juices. Um, I alternate back and forth between shredded newspaper and, and shredded fluted cardboard. Um, I like both of them for different reasons. Um, you can see the the moisture meter there. I don't know how many of you guys have got a moisture meter. Um, it's not absolutely necessary. Um, I just got one because um, I've got so many farms, and it's a nice, easy way of making sure that I've got a, um, a consistent moisture level through them all. Um, I sort of been finding that 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 um, uh, towards the end of the scale, uh, that, that's a scale of ones dry and tens wet. Um, sort of been finding um, eight and nine is is about the right level in my opinion for for the worms. When it gets down to sort of seven and six, it's getting a little bit on the dry side. Um, uh, but uh, I, I imagine being cheap meters, then they're not calibrated really well, so mine will read different to yours. So you just got to make some assumptions and work out what what feels good, and then use the meter. Um, all right. Well, thanks very much, and um, uh, I'll uh, take some other videos another time for you.